All right, everybody, more videos for you. Hey, this time we're gonna really focus and lock in on iPad OS 26, the biggest, the most significant release that not only is Apple is saying, but I have seen with someone who has been an iPad user since day one, the original, all the way through its life, and finally getting multitasking and windowing and features that we've really wanted for years. So let's dive in and talk about it. First of all, we're not gonna dwell on this too much. You can watch all my other videos, but yes, you are getting in a new liquid glass design. You like how I say that? I've been saying it a lot today, but liquid glass brings an all new look. Yes, the iPad, a little bigger screen, obviously, than an iPhone, so I think it has more of an impact in some ways. The home screen will still have the ability for the time to adapt to the wallpaper. You'll see all those glossy buttons. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Everyone's joking like, hey, you heard of Windows Aero design? Yes, I have, but I'm gonna tell you, this looks better. Even if you wanna say that, it may not be the OG, OG glass design, it's here with iPad OS. But what's really exciting, and we're gonna break this down, is all the different windowing aspects that you can do to really bring multitasking to iPad OS 26. We know the iPad is always gonna work how it's always done, so that means full screen apps. You open up an app, takes up the whole screen. You can do that with every app. But now look in the bottom right hand corner, taking an element from Vision OS and you'll see what they call this grab handle, which allows you to drag and resize that app and then move that app anywhere on this display of an iPad. You can do that multiple apps. You can stack them all over the place. What's cool is if you close an app, it remembers the size you have and the location. And if you wanna get a little more, uh, maybe you're someone who's a little OCD and wants a really clean look, you can pull apps to the different sides. So here we have a split screen app in the middle, just like before, drag left and right, and you can resize both of those two apps. But also, if you go into, right, those three little, I don't, I don't, I don't know what Apple calls them, but those jewels, right, for closing a window, minimizing a window, and expanding it, you can hold on one of those jewels, and it gives you options to put it in the corner. So you have a lot of different arrangements to really bring multitasking Windows management, like a Mac, to iPad OS, but it really feels like an iPad still. Also, I did not expect this. How about a little bit of expose, right? Swipe up and see all your windows in a minimized way. That's coming to iPadOS. I love that as someone who's like, has always been an expose-like guy. Then you wanna even take another level, the little menu bar on the top, you don't see it, but when you pull down, your apps have actual menu options. So this is as close to a Mac for everyone that has been asking for this for years that an iPad can get without being a Mac. And, uh, Apple, I know internally, it probably tore you up all these years to get to this point, but thank you for getting to this point. I salute you. Not only are we gaining the ability to manage the size of Windows and multitask better, but file management. This is getting a whole lot better. There's a new view in files, a list view, where you can then also click to drop down and see contents in that file structure. So more, again, Mac desktop-like. What I also like is they're taking a page from the new Mac OS Tahoe where you can color code folders and also add these emojis or icons on them. That's really, if I don't wanna show you my desktop, but it's brutal, it, it's garbage, but that's that color coding and icons, those are gonna help me. This is also coming to iPad OS. You can also choose which app by default opens a specific type of file. So if it's an image file, you always wanted to open up in Photoshop, you can do that on the iPad. And then also with the file structure, we talked about these folders in different organization. I can drag a folder down to the dock, and then if I long press on that folder and it's in the dock, just like a Mac, it fans out vertically and I can see all the files. You guys, this is everything as a, as a content creator who is on the go that wants better file management, you delivered. Also, a Mac app comes to iPadOS, the preview app. Now, why is this important? Well, we can manage, edit, markup, PDFs, and then export them in different ways. So again, let's keep on bringing more of these Mac features to iPadOS, they're doing it. I talked about being a creator and using the iPad, and my hope over the years has been to really try and make an iPad like a remote, true, podcast studio, well now you have the ability to control the audio inputs and outputs and select them by default for a specific app. We know Apple likes to have some synergy between their devices, so let's say you're using AirPods Pro or AirPods in your ear. They're also gonna be using that voice isolation to really bring you studio level quality audio using AirPods. This could be whether you're doing a podcast, a video conference, or even just me shooting video directly from my iPad, talking to you while I'm on the go. So I love how they're really trying to lean into these creator tools with the iPad, which they haven't done before. 
In addition to that, let's say you're doing a recording and they have local capture. So what that means, let's say I'm doing a Zoom, I have my guests on one side and me on the other with my iPad. It's going to record my file, my audio, my video native, keep it on that iPad and then I can collect everyone's files that has been a part of this and then do an edit. So again, amping up creativity. If you also wanna talk about how an iPad can multitask even better, let's talk about background tasks. This is, this is a killer feature. So I have yet to fully jump over to give Final Cut Pro on an iPad a go. I, I know it's great, but for me, my workflow, it, I'm just really efficient with Premiere, but you can now do background tasks with the iPad just like you would with a desktop. So let's say you're rendering out a video, but you wanna use another app. You wanna, let's say, create and fine tune a picture or a photo still for YouTube while your video is rendering out. You can do that now in iPad OS 26. So if we look at iPad OS 26 in its totality, Apple said it's the biggest update they've ever done and I 100% agree. You're bringing the stuff we wanna see for years, multitasking, window sizing, background tasks. As a creator, I can do things that I've never done before. Also, PDF preview manipulation. There's so much that makes this device like a Mac without being a Mac, but still being an iPad, and I think that is a win-win all around. So Apple, I know I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna say it right now, that's good Apple.